Good morning. You listen to FloorDaily.net, and I'm Kemp Parr. I'm with Wanda Dunaway at Green Build in New Orleans in the Shaw contract space. Wanda, how are you doing? Great. How are you, Kemp? I'm good. You're the director of education and government marketing for Shaw Contract, right? That's correct. Last year, we talked about Lead V4. I think we covered that pretty well. Let me just set the stage here real quick. You are an exhibitor at the show. You're right up front. Tell us a little bit about your message points here at the show. If you could actually see our booth, you would see that we have two corners of the booth, and one talks about partners with a purpose, and that's really talking about our partnerships with people like the Center for Green Schools. We have a new collection called Cut and Compose that will be available December 1st, and 1.5% of the proceeds will go to the Center for Green Schools to support their mission of having every child learn in a healthy, sustainable environment. So that's one of our partners. We also have partnered with Make It Right, so we're highlighting them because we are in New Orleans, of course. And we've donated carpet for 100 homes already, and we've got another 50 to go. And we were fortunate enough to be able to have dinner with two of the homeowners last night, and it was an amazing experience. It's really nice to see the difference that it's making. How about that? So most people know your whole cradle-to-cradle message, and they know your tie-in with Bill McDonough and know his tie-in with Make It Right. You actually have him speaking tomorrow here, right? We do. He's going to be speaking with Tom Darden, who's the executive director for Make It Right, in our booth at 4 o'clock. And we also have happy hour at the same time, so it's a good mix. But that's also the other part of our booth that we talked about. The other message is we talk about design with a purpose. And, of course, Cradle to Cradle has been important to us for a long time. So we talk about all of the aspects of Cradle to Cradle, the material transparency, material health, the water usage, energy usage, and also the social responsibility that we just spoke of with the partners. So we're really highlighting our transparency and our material health along with our other partnerships. Let's talk more about this Center for Green Schools that you're contributing to. What makes a green school? Well, it used to be more about recycled content or local materials, but really we see a green school as a place that's safe and healthy for a student to learn. So somewhere that they can hear well, that they're comfortable, and that they know that the materials that are in the building are safe for them. So it's more than just the products that are used in the school. It's the social side of it, how the school functions, right? Absolutely. The product's just one side of it, but it's how you use the products, and it's things like daylighting and the design of the buildings that enhances the learning environment. You know, one of there's been studies done, and I know as the director of education marketing for Shaw Contract, you're aware of this, talking about the acoustical benefit of carpeting a classroom. Talk about that if you would. I think anybody knows in your home or a school anywhere you go into a room that's all hard surfaces and there's a lot of echoing, there's a lot of bounce back. Carpet does provide a softer surface and the acoustics are much better and where it really comes into play and this is an issue in a lot of our areas across the country is when you have students that English is not their first language it's really difficult because someone who speaks English fluently If they miss a word or two, it's not the end of the world, but if a non-English speaker misses a word or two, they probably miss the whole contact. And you really can't stress the importance of acoustics enough. All right, so Greenville, just to talk about it for a minute, I noticed when you opened the directory that you're a gold sponsor. There's no other flooring company that's at that level of sponsorship. When you look at who's at the show now, I mean, you see these big brands up front that are major brands like Kohler, Home Depot's here with a major space, BASF. So this show's certainly evolved, hasn't it? Absolutely, it has. When Greenville first started, it was really more of a commercial building show. And as it's progressed, it still is that, but there's also a consumer component. And, you know, I can't speak for other manufacturers, but for us, we're always here because it's not just about selling our carpet. It's really about being part of that conversation of the design and leadership for sustainability. Mm -hmm. So we want to be here so we can learn, so that we can take part in that conversation. And there's a tie-in, I think, with the carpet that runs throughout this exhibit hall. Talk a little bit about that, if you would. We donate carpet for the aisles for the entire Green Build Expo Hall. And I believe this carpet that's here today has been used at Green Build for three separate years, right? Absolutely. You know, it's always better to reuse and then recycle after that, but we always want to go for reuse if we can. Now, I noticed you had a book signing here this morning. Talk about that. David Gottfried, who was one of the co-founders of USGBC and the World 
Green Building Council, was here earlier, and he spoke, talked about his green story, and he signed books for the participants. Now, when you are at the show and you're talking to the people that come in the space here, who comes in here mostly? Is it A&D people? Is it consumers? Who comes to the show as it has evolved today? We see a little bit of everything. In, in our particular space, we absolutely we see architects and designers. We see end users. I know DeVita was here earlier. They're a great customer of ours. We also have some consumers, a lot of consultants, so it's a, it's a mixed bag. Now, while you're here, do you also attend any of the education seminars? Absolutely, and there's a ton of great sustainable education sessions that I'm attending. So I sort of split my time in the booth and the sessions. Now, this morning there was a breakfast, and at the back of this hall there's a modular home, and Shaw did all the hardwood floors in there. Can you talk about that for a minute? Absolutely. Our Epic Hardwood is in there. It's a cradle-to-cradle product. We also have... Shaw Contract Group area rugs in the space. Those are also cradle-to-cradle commercial rugs. And I believe that house is going to be taken apart and moved over into the ninth ward? Yes, I believe so. It's They're showcasing it here at Greenbuild, and then it will be put to use for a homeowner here in New Orleans. All right. Well, Wanda, it's great to talk to you again. We're talking to Wanda Dunaway, who's the Director of Education and Government Marketing for Shaw Contract, and you've been listening to Kempar and Floridelli.net.